Welcome everyone to Watkins Glen International for the Gold Bowling at the Glen. We have 36 cars in today's field. Chase Elliott is your points leader coming into this race. Could that stay the same coming out of this race as he is the favorite to win today? Christopher Bell currently 10th in the point standings, uh, just out ju barely in that top 10. But um, as we said, 36 cars here today in this field. And. Uh, Really excited to see these guys going through turn number one and up into the S's, down through the back stretch and through the inner loop, through the carousel, and through the final two corners to make that, those laps. But AJ Allmendinger, one of the strongest cars on the track, uh, he's currently starting second today. Uh, he did have, he does have one win and in this uh, in this facility, and it's his only cup win. Oh no, excuse me, his first uh, ever cup win. That he got all the way back in 2014. And down the line just a little bit. You could see possibly the fan favorite today. Chase Elliott. With a uh, with a pretty fast car today. Didn't really show that well in practice. Or sorry excuse me not practice qualifying. But is definitely going to be the favorite to win this race today. Uh, a great driver behind that number nine machine, and the last road course that we were we were at was um, the Sh Nebraska Roval, and the winner is right there in front of you, William B. Byron, uh, looking to get his third win of the season, and um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll get to your command, driver, start your engines, and the cars roll off. Daniel Suarez on pole with A.J. Allmendinger to his outside in row number one and in row number two we have Brad Keselowski to the inside of run like hell it's Christopher Bell and in row number three we have teammates of uh, two champions uh, Kyle Larson and Chase Elliott in row number four we have Martin Truex Jr. and Kurt Busch Daytona 500 winner and the season one champion Kevin Harvick to the inside of the of uh, the last winner at the road course William Byron and in row number six we have Ryan Blaney to the inside of Kyle Busch and in row number seven we have uh, Chase Briscoe to the inside of Alex the Bowman Showman and the defending series champion Denny Hamlin to the inside of Tyler Reddick in the eight machine and in row number nine we have uh, Joey Logano to the inside of Michael McDowell in that 34 front row machine and in row number 10, we have RCR teammates of Austin Dillon and Daniel Hemrick in that 31 car. And in row number 11, we have Ross Chastain, the Watermelon Man, to the inside of Cole Custer. And in row number 12, we have Chris Busher to the inside of Anthony Alfredo, Fast Pasta, in that number 38 car. And in row number 13, we have the Rocket Man, Ryan Newman, to the inside of that Jones boy, Eric Jones, in the 43, and Austin Richards in the 63, to the inside of Bubba Wallace in the 23. A lot of threes in this uh, little graphic here. But in row number 15, we have uh, Matt DiBenedetto to the inside of um, Eric Amarola. And in row number um, 16, we have... Uh, Ricky Senos Jr. to the inside of his teammate Ryan Priest. In row number 17, we have uh, Corey LeJoy to the inside of Roman Grosjean. And in row number 15, in row number 18, is Quinn Hauf to the inside of Aaron Webb. Well, the cars are going through the inner loop and coming down to the start finish line through the carousel out of turn number seven. Green flags in the air here at the Glen. Through the S's they go as Daniel Suarez clears uh, AJ Allmendinger for the lead. Brakislavski filing in to set into third place. Excuse me on that, but down the front stretch they go. Daniel Suarez leads lap number one of today. 
through the S as they go for the second time today. Kozlowski under attack by Bell for third place. Looks like uh, Brad Kozlowski is going to be able to t uh, clear Bell for that uh, third spot. Suarez still leading as uh, here comes AJ Allmendinger. Oh, looks like a uh, AJ Allmendinger is going to take advantage of Daniel Suarez's mistake, locking the brakes up, going into turn number one. Through the inner loop they go as uh, as um, Brad Kozlowski is now attacking uh, Daniel Suarez for second place, and Daniel Suarez is going to fall to third after that. And is as AJ Allmendinger leads them going down into the S's. And oh, Chase Elliott spins around, collects Kevin Harvick, and a huge hit for the number nine car coming out of coming out of turn number one. And we can see right here in this replay, it looks like Kevin Harvick actually might have uh, clipped the curbing down in there in the first corner. And what a hit for Chase Elliott! Huge hit for that number nine car. Nowhere for him to go as Harvick. Uh, was stuck there trying to turn down it looked like but might have a lot had no control of his car and what a huge hit for Chase Elliott right there now both drivers are okay after this uh, massive massive hit for uh, both of them but uh, they are both okay but Chase Elliott is a little frustrated with Kevin Harvick but uh, is not necessarily angry at him just a little frustrated but uh, that is what you're going to get when you are racing hard for a position like that. But um, like I said, both drivers are okay. We're going back. Green flag racing here with AJ Allmendinger as the leader. Oh, looks like the outside lane did not get going too well. And looks like the inside lane takes advantage of that as Brad Kozlowski is now leading going through the inner loop as Christopher Bell follows. Through turn number six and seven, they go. Brad Kozlowski is going to lead that lap as Kurt Busch has entered the third spot. Christopher Bell still hunting down that number two machine of Brad Kozlowski going through the S's. Now down the backstretch and through the inner loop. Single file are the top five right now. And Kozlowski looking to lead his second lap of the day as it looks like Kurt Busch is going to try to take advantage on Bell right now. And it looks like Alex Bowman's going to spin around. A huge wreck on the front stretch. Big hit for Alex Bowman. Looks like Alex Bowman might have blown a tire there. Let's take a look at this replay. You can see what happened. Yeah, it looks like that tire just blew out coming out of turn number seven. And a huge hit for Alex Bowman. He got hit by Tyler Reddick there. Looks like Tyler Reddick might have been blinded by the smoke and had nowhere to go. Same thing for Joey Logano. But uh, those two drivers just were innocent bystanders that had nowhere to go. But uh, Denny Hamlin and Alex Bowman... Um, both taking uh, a lot of damage to their machines, but Alex Bowman, what a huge hit for him uh, from Tyler Reddick, but uh, the red flag is out for this situation, but uh, Tyler Reddick, Alex Bowman, Joey Logano, and Denny Hamlin are all all right after this incident. Um, you can see the field stopped right outside of the exit of turn number seven. Alex Bowman being carried uh, to the garage with the hook intact. But, um, yeah, tire blew out on that number 48 machine, and just some bad, bad tires for them. But the green flag is back in the air for a three-lap-to-go shootout. Oh, Kozlowski, the leader, is going to lock up the tires going in the one. Bell takes advantage and takes the lead away from Brad Kozlowski, as it's now William Byron hunting down that 20 Toyota machine. And it's going to be Kurt Busch following William Byron, trying to see what he can do. Kurt Busch is making the move on William Byron for second place now. Now Kurt Busch is hunting down that number 20 car. A hungry Kurt Busch looking for a second win of the season as Christopher Bell's only looking for his first of his career in this series. White flag in the air here at the Glen. Who's going to make it first? It looks like Bell's going to slide going into turn number one. Busch is now on his rear corner panel. Can that work out? No. Bell clears Kurt Busch once again for the lead through turn six and seven. Christopher Bell wins at the Glen. And what a hard charge from Kurt Busch in the final two in the final two corners, but it just wasn't enough for him to snag the victory. And Christopher Bell wins for the first time in the series, and claims a great spot <laughs> in the top five in points. I guarantee you that's going to get him into the top five of the point standings after he came into this uh, race 10th in the point standings. But Kurt Busch a close second place finish for him. And how about AJ Allmendinger, although part time, finished fifth in today's race and chase elliott possibly everybody's pick to win this race finishing dead last after being caught up in carvick's in, uh, in harvick's uh, mistake going into turn number one but uh both all drivers that were involved in any kind of wreck 
are all alright, only hurt feelings on their end. But we're going to take a look at your point standings, and it looks like, oh, Christopher Bell fell a bit short of that top five uh, spot in the playoffs, but we have a new points leader, William Byron, with a third place finish today, got him up to the lead in the point standings, Kyle Larson now up to second in the points, and Chase Elliott, the previous points leader, has fallen down to third, but Kurt Busch, fourth currently, and Alex Bowman are currently on the cut line for the playoffs. But uh, only four races remain in the regular season before we go playoff racing. And Quinn Half now taking up the rear of the field. And uh, Chase Briscoe, who's bringing up the rear of the field all season long in the point standings, now up to now up in the top 30. Still not the best uh, run from that 14 machine, but things are slowly turning around for that 14 team. Well, we thank you all for joining us today in this race. It was a great race to watch as it was to film. We hope you all enjoyed today uh, today's race at the Glen. Uh, can't wait to get this, um, this race going again for season number four. But um, until then, we will see you all at Bristol Motor Speedway for the Food City 500 to try to see who is going to conquer the Coliseum once again. Well, we thank you all for joining us once again, and we will see you all in Bristol at the Great Coliseum to see who will conquer that beast. We'll see you all there.